now, I would love to welcome now a, a special guest to the studio, Abbas al Mamori, who I spoke to this time last year as well. Abbas um, takes part in something called Out in the Cold, uh, where he spends several nights over Christmas sleeping rough, uh, sleeping outside, uh, sleeping as many people in Birmingham and the Black Country and across the country have to do uh, all year round, not just at this time of year. And he does that to raise awareness of homelessness and to raise money as well, more importantly. Morning, Abbas. Good morning. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. So, um, just tell us basically what you've done this year. Sure. So, uh, starting on the 23rd of December, uh, myself and a few volunteers started sleeping rough on the streets of Birmingham. It was to aim to raise money and awareness for the plight of the homeless. And we concluded uh, on the morning of the 27th. So we did four nights in the end, um, as opposed to five. But that's what we do. Uh, that's what we did this year. And it's what we've been doing every Christmas since 2014. So just tell us a little bit about the course of of those four nights, how that how that runs, how that works, and um, how you managed to cope with that over that time. Sure, because it's twelve months uh, between each campaign, between each sleep out. You you have to. It's almost like you're doing it brand new again. So you have to prepare yourself mentally. But it's it's only once you get through the first night, you really get a taste of what it is you're putting your body and your your mind through. At, very, at the very beginning, it's nervy, it's scary. You're wandering around for a long time trying to find somewhere to sleep, somewhere you feel safe to close your eyes. By the time you get to the second and third night, tiredness kicks in and you are far less picky and you are actually more exposed to the elements, more exposed to people walking by, exposed to people who are actually living on the streets. Um, on the second and third night, we were approached, myself and uh, my friend Chris, who's taking part in this uh, in Leeds at the end of this year, we were approached by many people on the streets asking us for all sorts of things because they actually thought we were rough sleepers. Things like uh, whether they were drugs, uh, whether it was change, whether it was alcohol. So we were we really were exposed, like I say, to to that life of rough sleeping, if you like, and the reality and the reality of, of it. Was, yeah. Um, and I think I said this to you last year, but I never I'll never forget doing an interview with a homeless charity and with some rough sleepers. Um, who said that actually it's not the the cold, although that is terrible, uh, and the the dark and the elements. It's the fear and and the lack of safety yeah. because you don't know what's going to happen when you're asleep. Exactly, exactly. This is why it's, it's it affects you so much mentally as well as physically. As much as it's hard to sleep on a hard surface and as cold as it gets, and it's been really cold this year in comparison to last year. It's it's what it does to you psychologically. You have to you go through ups and downs through the day and through the night constantly. It really wears you down, and it's it's a case actually. You just fall asleep sometimes. Tiredness just kicks in, and you do end up falling asleep. And you wake up in the morning. You look around. You see where you are, and if anything has happened to you, um, you, you you kind of feel a bit disorientated really. Uh, so it, it's the psychologically, it really does have an impact on you. And I, I know that you were hoping to do five nights this year for the first time. Yeah. Um. But but that just wasn't possible. No, it wasn't. I mean, um, going into the fourth night, I was really feeling run down, um, and uh, not just I'm not talking just tiredness and and um, you know feeling a bit a bit low, but actually feeling going well. Um. And you know I was feeling dizzy, uh, quite faint, light headed, and. I thought, well, as much as it is about um, raising money, it's raising awareness and, and you know, being honest to people, saying this is hard, this is what it does to your body. And like you mentioned earlier on, people have to go through this 365 days in the year. Um, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, um, tragically, someone was found having frozen to death, a, a, you know, a rough sleeper. And this is, I have the option of going home. I have the option of stepping out of this reality. Um, but in truth, over three and a half thousand people in this country don't have that choice, um, and you know it's you know it's, yeah I I wish I did the five nights, but I think four is enough to be honest. Absolutely. One is enough for anybody. Absolutely, and I think what strikes me is how how much you care about this, how passionate you are about it. But you know, plenty of people work for um, homeless charities. They raise money. 
th this is really taking it to an extreme, trying to experience this every Christmas um, for several nights. Why do you do it at Christmas and why do you feel that you have to, to do it this way? Well, you mentioned uh, there are uh, charities who look after the homeless and who, who aim to help the homeless, especially during this time of year. Um, however, uh, funding to these services have been cut by more than 50%. Um, so they're really feeling it, and especially now that homelessness has been on the rise for the last five years. Um, now, in terms of why we do this, why we take such an extreme measure, it's really to bring the reality home to people. It brings it home to our families, our families who'd rather spend Christmas with us, our friends, our work colleagues, and um, people that have found our campaign on social media. It's really to bring home that actually this can happen to anybody. Um, it's not, um, you know, there seems to be sometimes uh, a notion that those who are homeless or sleeping rough, that they have, you know, they have failed when, you know, it's, you can just turn that on its head and say, well, actually, maybe it's a sign of a broken society. Um, and we need to address that. We need to actually have this discussion. Why, why should it be okay um, for, for somebody to be out there on the streets? And we want to experience that reality ourselves as well, bring it home to people. So a big sacrifice, but this year for the first time, you're doing it in two cities yes, as well, correct. so different groups of people. Yes. Um, and that is Leeds as well, is that right? That's in Leeds, yes, correct. Okay. So um, the first year uh, of this campaign, 2014, was just myself. Last year it was four people and we did it in Birmingham. This year it's uh, ten people, five in Birmingham and five in Leeds. So it's growing all the time. And how yes. much have you raised? Just under £3,000 so far. Uh, we hope Our target is £5,000. Uh, and that money will be able to provide um, homeless people in Leeds, Birmingham, Manchester and London with sleeping bags, fleece jackets, high energy snacks, toiletries, a rucksack, things that can help them try and survive the winter, especially this winter as it's much colder than last year. Tell us how people can um, can donate. If sure, they want to. sure. So there's two uh, there's two ways. They can go to Twitter and the hashtag is out in the cold twenty sixteen, or you can go to our sponsorship webpage, which is www.virginmoneygiving.com forward slash out in the cold. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank I presume you you'll me. be doing this next year as well. Yeah, of course. Of course, until the problem goes away, we'll be here. Thank you, Abbas al Mamori there um, from Out in the Cold 2016. Just finished at their four-night sleeping rough in Birmingham and Leeds this year as well, raising nearly £3,000, but they've got that target of 5000 Thanks for coming in.